So we've been looking at DNSSEC for about a year now because it's certainly true that if you want to mount an attack, an attack via the DNS is insidious and often successful, and that's a worry. So we've been encouraging, everyone has been encouraging folk to say, let's secure the DNS. Let's use digital signatures to make sure that the response you get delivered, you can validate. And interestingly enough, it's been a runaway success insofar as these days, around 12% of the entire internet's user base, out of 2.4 billion people, 12% is huge, actually do do DNSSEC validation. This is fantastic. But how many domains are signed? All these people are willing to say, you send me something, I'll validate. But how many actually do it? And what we hear from a number of folk is, well, I'd like to, but I think it's scary. Why? Well, I think it'll make it longer to resolve my name. I think some folk will drop out. And in the world of the internet, the million dollar millisecond is not a myth. Every millisecond of additional delay in clicking to my site, every additional bit of delay causes people to drop off. And so we were interested, if you signed your name, what would the cost be? Would there be dropouts? Would it take longer? And the other side of this is, what if DNSSEC wasn't just 12%, but 100? What if everyone did it? And what if everyone on the supply side did it? So that was the hypothetical question we were looking at. And we have this data about DNSSEC that we got from the ads. Can we extrapolate further forward and understand what's going on? The first thing we found is for the client, there is a delay that when you sign your name, most folk will take up to half a second longer to validate it. Half a second, that sounds horrible. But our system is uncached. We deliberately made sure that DNS caching doesn't happen. So when you actually allow caching, that half a second almost disappears. The DNS gets most of its power through local caching of results so that you only ever ask the real server once other questions that come afterwards go into local caches and get served locally. So from a client's perspective, it's actually not that bad. You probably wouldn't even notice if a name was signed or not. But the good thing is, if it is signed, no one can lie to you about that name. When you go to mybank.com, truly is mybank.com, it's not someone masquerading. So then we looked at the other side. I'm the authoritative name server for this domain and I want to sign it. How much more traffic will I get? And it's certainly true that you do get more because now that just I don't serve responses, I have to serve the digital signature. And what we've found, of course, is short digital signatures are easily broken. So signatures are long. And typically, rather than doing a 200 byte response, the authoritative server might have to serve a number of packets and will be serving up to two or 3,000 bytes. So it seems that the amount of traffic coming out of a server to serve a signed domain is up to about 13 or 14 times. Can we pin it down? So we did exactly that. We measured very tightly and very closely. And what we found is that in general, you can expect around four times the queries and about eight times the traffic if the name was signed. Good? Well, it's not free. Is those scary numbers? Not really. If you haven't got that much headroom because of DDoS attacks and the DNS, et cetera, already, something's seriously wrong. So in some ways, it's not, I mean, it's certainly a step up, but it's not a frighteningly large step up. Any properly engineered set of name servers should be able to cope with that increased load. But then we looked at the corner case, because it's fine when everything works. What if it doesn't? What if you're badly signed? Well, firstly, people can't resolve your name. That's really bad. But at the same time, folk will start to hit your name server because they can't cache the answer. And as I said before, the DNS relies on caching. If caching isn't working, the authoritative name server gets all the hits. If the signatures in DNSSEC break, you can expect 30 times the traffic load as distinct from an unsigned normal case, which is a lot. And you can expect up to 15 times the query load. So yes, 
Once you sign a name, be paranoid about the state of that signature. Make sure it works all of the time. Manage your keys, manage your zone. And if you do that, and if you're careful about that, DNSSEC is great. Because all of a sudden, it becomes a lot harder for other folk to masquerade as you in insidious ways. And that's a good thing. Thank <laughs> you.